our next thing is called split complementary. It becomes like a mostly a three color composition where you have one color like purple and you, you pick the complements, the colors that are to the side of the complementary color. So with, with purple, you're using this, this yellow green and this yellow orange with the purple to have more colors in your palette. In case it's a busier palette, it's a busier composition, you need to bring a little bit more of that, those different colors in. Okay. You're using those three colors as the main anchor for your palette, right? So here's your purple and your yellows, okay? And I had to bring the greens in because I had characters that had green in them. And that's kind of how I'm, I'm baiting those greens with that yellow light to make them yellowish greens. And then I'm pulling them in with purple on, on pretty much everybody here as well from the clouds. All right, so again, this is a cover, so I'm cheating a little bit. Um, uh, I'm really, really playing with the, the warm light in the front, the yellow light in the front, the purple non-light behind them. But since they all have it, they all feel like they're part of the same composition. They're in the same space. And you'll see that the farther back they move, so like Enchantress, her, the black in her suit is actually like a deep purple. It's not a black anymore. So now she's, she's actually, if we zoom in, that forces her to push back into the, into the space, into the, um, into the sky. Uh, and what I'll try and do is I'll try and uh, put up a, a document for you with all the terminology, uh, explaining what, what each of these is. Uh, and, um, and then we can try, um, you can use that for your lesson if you want or down the line. 